welcome to week one of this Fit Fans journey. So for today's workout, you're going to need a chair and it may also be useful to get a couple of tins or something with a little bit of added weight. You could use a couple of water bottles filled up if you've got those laying around. So today's session is just going to be a nice gentle introduction. We're going to do a warm up, a little bit of seated cardio exercise and then we're also going to have a look at some strengthening activities. The idea of this program is that throughout the 12 weeks, the intensity is going to progress gradually week by week um, and you're going to grow and challenge yourself um, through that. So nice gentle start today. So what I would like you to do is just get sitting comfortably on your chair. We're going to start with some toe taps. So we're going to take alternate leg, Reach forward and just tap your toes. Great, right, what I would like you to do, I'd like you to take the heel. So, similar movement, all we're doing, we're digging the heel in may help just to take it out at a little bit of an angle here. Fantastic, and then if we just come into a little seated march, so legs only for now. Now what I'd like you to do, I'd like to bring them arms in as well. You need to have a rest, you may leave the, the legs, can get you in the hip flexors a little bit that, so you may leave the legs for a minute, just go onto your arms, you may keep those legs moving, just gently warming up. And relax, well done. Right, what I'd like us to do, we're just going to take our foot out to the side and back. Touching your toes out, left and right. I'm going to try and maintain a good upright posture throughout these exercises. Don't be slouching forward. So get that core engaged, get your back straight. Lovely, back into your march. Right, so for the first part of today's exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of seated cardio exercises back to back. We're going to get that heart rate up and try and maintain an elevated heart rate, get some cardiovascular benefits. And then, as I said, we're going to finish off with some strengthening exercises. So the first of your seated exercises, we're going to do a seated star jump. So you're going to need to, again, edge forward in your chair, good posture. The lower part of your body is going to go out and together and your arms are going to come up and back. So that position, big star and in, star and in. Right, again, if you need to at any point, you can just go to the legs or just go with the arms for now. Right, we're going to work for 45 seconds, then we're going to have a 15 second break. So where's my timer? Here we go. Already in three, two, one, off we go. Well done. Over the coming weeks, we're going to progress these on a little bit to stand in star jump variations. Low impact exercises still, but progressing it on slightly. Come on, you've got 15 seconds left. It is worth mentioning, obviously, if you do need to have a breather at any point, if you do 15, 20 seconds and you need to have a break, have a break and relax. Well done. Right, your next exercise, we're going to sit up straight. All we're going to do is we're going to punch left, right, left, right. A little bit of a twist. We've got five seconds and we're going straight into that one. Already, off we go. 
That's it, keep taking it out and all the way back in. As you progress on as well, so you can easily come from a seating position and do this standing, which obviously makes it a little bit more challenging. As I say, week one, we're going to keep it seated for now. So I just want to make you aware of something uh, called an RPE scale, so a rating of perceived exertion, so how hard you feel that you're working. Three seconds and relax. Right, your next one, we're going to do a seated skip. I'll come back to the RPE. So for this, you're going to bounce both feet. With your arms, you're gonna spin the rope. Are we ready? In three, two, one, off we go. So we're bouncing up and down, spinning the rope. Right then, so your RPE. What is RPE, I hear you say? It is a scale of how hard you feel that, that you are working. So if we think that a one on that scale is you're laid on the sofa, you're doing absolutely nothing, it's an energy uh, level that you could maintain for hours um, and 10 would be the maximum amount of effort that you could put in so a full-blown sprint um, anything like that we want to be targeting most of this exercise at around a six or a seven on that RPE scale so just keep checking into that when you're doing the exercises and relax well done um, and see how you feel, if it's, if it's low, see if you can push it on a little bit, work a bit harder, a bit faster. If it's getting up towards a nine and a 10, you probably want to slow it down, get some deep breaths and bring your heart rate down. Right, your next one, we're gonna do a head, shoulders, knees and toes alternative. So we're gonna start at his ankles if we can, or if not, just as far forward as you can get. We're gonna go ankles, knees, hips, shoulders up, Shoulders, hips, knees, toes, and we'll repeat that. Again, you can do this standing if you want. I'm gonna stay seated for the time being. Are we ready? In three, two, one. Off we go, 15 seconds, uh, sorry, 45 seconds. 15 seconds break in between. Now you my breathing rates up a little bit. I can uh, feel this working already. Your heart's beating a little bit faster to get the blood to the working muscles and get the, the waste products away. So that's what we're aiming for. Nice, controlled, elevated heart rate. Come on, 15 seconds remaining. Well done, three, two, one, right. Your last one for this part is going to be a side step, so you're going to take alternate step out. We did something similar in the warm up. Are we ready? In three, two, one, off we go. Good posture again. You may notice I've sort of shuffled forward in my chair a little bit just to help me get the range of motion that I need here. Keep it up. 15 seconds remaining. got a drink, grab a drink. We've not worked that hard yet, but try and stay hydrated all the time really, but especially when you're exercising. It's a nice hot day here today. Um, so make sure that you're putting back those fluids that are uh, to helping keep you cool when you're exercising. So moving on, we're gonna do something called the scarecrow race. So if you've got your tins or your little bit of resistance, what we're going to do is we're going to sit forward, we're going to take our arms out like a scarecrow and all we're going to do is we're going to lift one arm up and back and then we're going to repeat on the other side. So you've got two parts to this movement, you've got the, the isometric 
contraction where there's no movement, your muscles are still working there, and you've got the concentric, eccentric, shortening and lengthening of the muscles during the lift. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. We're ready. Off we go. Well done. So my challenge to you guys after this workout is over the next week or so, think how you can build these exercises into everyday life. So if you are spending a lot of time sat down, particularly during the lockdown, hold it there, well done. Um, how can you build these in to reduce the amount of time that you just sat doing nothing? So the amount of time that you're spending in those low numbers on the RP scale and build a little bit of this in just to help keep you moving, um, keep your muscles working and um, and cut that amount of sedentary time. So that's going to be my challenge to you over the next week until we uh, until we meet again for week two. Your next exercise is going to be a seated calf raise. So we're going to edge forward. We're going to keep both feet together, hands on top of our knees, and we're just going to rock up onto our toes, contract the calf muscles, and relax. Up and down. Up, pause, down. Well done. Right, 30 seconds. Off we go. Straight into this. So there you can do these while you sat watching TV. Do them on the edge of the bed before you go to sleep, when you get up in the morning. Let's really try and build some of this into our everyday lives and make it more active. Time, well done. Right, your next exercise is going to be a flying press, so you'll need your tins again. We're going to take our tins out, palms facing forward, tins around ear level. So the first part of this movement is you're going to bring your elbows into the middle, then you're going to push up, bring it back and open it out. So fly, press. Good upper body exercise, how we ready. Off we go. Fly, press. And back. See, you can do this without any added resistance, so without the tins, you may build those in after a couple of times. Well done. One more. And relax, well done. Right. Your next one. So your next exercise is going to be a tricep kickback. So for this one, we're going to have to edge forward again. We're going to use both our tins. And what I want you to do is I want you to hit, imagine that you're pivoting at the hip. So you're bringing all your upper body forward to get sort of like a, quite a 45 degree angle. You're going to drop your arms, keep your elbows tucked in, and you're going to extend your elbows back, bend, and extend back. So what we're doing here is targeting the tricep area. So I'll kick back. So keep the elbows connected to the side of the body. From the side, this is what it looks like. So elbow is staying still, kicking back and return. Squeeze and return. And we should feel that in this area. So again, 30 seconds. Off we go. With any of these exercises, I've gone straight into both arms. What you could do if you wanted to, is you can do right, left, alternate arms. Just to give you a little bit more recovery time in between. But if you feel confident, get straight into those kickbacks. Get them triceps working. And relax, well done. Right. Your next exercise. So this is going to be a seated leg extension. So we're sitting upright again. All we're going to do is we're going to extend one leg, squeeze our quadriceps at the top and relax. 
forward, squeeze and back. Squeeze. If you've got the stability, you can do both legs. It's going to be a little bit harder on your core, keeping yourself steady. But if you feel comfortable to try that, let's do that. Right, off we go, 30 seconds. Squeeze and return. Well done, and back into that double version. How we're going to be squeezing both quads at the same time. And relax, well done. Right, we've got one more. So, the final exercise is going to be uh, with your tins again. It's called a bent over row. So you're going to come forward. We're coming into a very similar position uh, to what we did the tricep kickback in. So we're going to pivot forward at the hips. We're going to drop our arms this time. And then from that position, you're going to bring your elbows up and back and return. So you're rowing up and back working on your upper back 30 seconds again if you want to alternate you can do that let's go straight in for left and right off we go good posture and return if you're spending a lot of time sitting this exercise is really important to strengthen your upper back, correct your posture. You can get that hunched over posture if we sit too much. So we're working the muscles that are going to help correct that. And relax, sit up straight, well done. Right, so all I've done there, turn that off, I just took you through a few simple exercises that you can do even without getting out of the chair. Um, as I've said, I would like you to go and try and build that in another couple of times, maybe this week. Also, if you found that really easy, or if you find that you're, you're quickly adapting to the exercise, take a lot of those exercises and do them standing. Uh, you can reduce your rest periods in the rest. So whereas we've had 30 seconds rest, what you could do is you could just bring it back to that march. So bring it back to the march and then get into your next exercise for 30 seconds, back to the march. So think about ways that you can adapt it to yourself. Um, we're gonna do a little cool down, a little stretch, uh, and then we'll sign off for week one. Right, so the first part of this, what I'd like you to do is I'd like to take your arm, bring it across your chest, and you're just gonna reach up with your other arm, give it a gentle squeeze, stretch your shoulder out. Again, we're still thinking about the basic principles, keeping a, a good upright posture here. Relax, switch sides. Relax, well done. Let's go into some shoulder rolls. So hands on your, your thighs, you're gonna bring your shoulders up, roll them back. Roll them forward. Well done, right, what I'd like you to do is you're just going to open your legs out, you're going to put your forearm onto one thigh and you're going to bring your other arm up and over into what we call a triangle stretch. Fantastic, up we come, switch, so opposite um, forearm was onto opposite thigh, arm comes up. Feel a stretch all down this side. Well done. Right, your next one, what we need to do is you're just going to take, come to the front of your chair, you're going to take your heel out straight on one leg and you're just going to edge forward just till you feel that in your hamstring, which is the back of your leg. Seated hamstring stretch.
hold and relax well done opposite side so opposite heel goes out we lean forward slowly just till we feel a slight stretch and relax well done and then your final one for today what i'd like you to do is you're going to take your hands you're going to interlace your fingers you're going to reach your shoulder blades forward chin comes into your chest and you really stretch out the top of your back nice deep breaths like you're hugging a big tree and relax shake them out one more time interlace your fingers reach forward chin comes into your chest and relax well done right so Thanks for joining me. As I said, my name's Scott. I look forward to welcoming you to weeks two and beyond. Um, this is the first of a 12 part series. So try and build these exercises in. If you found it difficult, obviously repeat this until you, uh, you feel like you can move on. Um, if not, and you're ready for week two, I look forward to welcoming you on the second session. Thank you.